rose hip. Not ready to pick yet. Um, and Lily, he's come to join us this afternoon. She's a complete sun worshipper. Vitamin D is so important for all animals, especially our companion animals, dogs and cats that find themselves indoors quite a lot with us. And um, so the beautiful vitamin D, not just for us, but for also our dogs and our cats. And little Lily here absolutely adores this macerated oil when we come to macerate. And as we can see here, this is the dog rose, um, the canina rosa, and also the ragusa rose, um, which is very important because of these really big hips that we're going to be using and we're going to be harvesting these hips um, the end of August September when they are the most brilliant ruby red color so that we can then macerate this in the sunflower oil and have a beautiful oil that is very rich in vitamin C A and K it's like a spring tonic for the body and when we start to look at the beautiful flower here, as we can see this beautiful rose, the delicate pink leaves. I don't know if you can just zoom in here on this leaf, um, but you can see it's the shape of a heart. And this beautiful heart-shaped flower signifies to me, its doctrine and signature, is all about love. It's about opening up at the heart centre and as we know with a lot of our animals and here we have Lily here just eating as you can see the grass and this is incredibly important that Lily is eating the tips of the plants here um, because grass has the highest amount of chlorophyll in the tips and my theory is this is that any plant new shoots this is the most vital energy where animals are going to be picking to self-select the most nutritious part of this plant. It's, it's the youngest part of the plant. And dogs in particular love to eat these tips. As you can see, Lily here absolutely loving a little self-selection here of the, of the grass. And she just takes a little bit more of that, uh, of that plant. Anymore. Here she goes. She's just taking another little bit now. Chewing away the tips of the plant here. So anybody that wonders why their dogs um, eat grass, there's a number of reasons. My theory is this. Number one, it's the highest amount of chlorophyll and nutrients and trace minerals that are vital to the body, even to us. Grass is very alkaline, an excellent source of protein and fiber. And then coming back to the rose here, um, as we were saying with the doctrine of signatures, it is incredibly important that this flower offers us and represents love and love is the key to all healing and rose hip is very much part of the rose all parts of the rose from the petals to the leaves to the stems to the hip are all edible and i love working with the macerated rose hip oil um, because a lot of animals self-select this particular oil as a spring tonic and because it's got such a huge amount of vitamin C in it.